Okay, folks, I got a computer I'm fixing for a friend here. He's actually, um, he's not sure what's wrong with it. It just, uh, it's a mess. It's slowing down and stuff. He's only had it like a year, uh, pretty much a year to the day. Let's see what we can do with this thing and hopefully uh, fix it and clean it up. Oh, it's even still ready to connect to my wireless from last time I was here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run SpyBot, search and destroy. Good app, good app, run that shit. Run SpyBot, and if that's a problem, that's nothing. But uh, I'm hoping it's not like a hard drive problem or something like that. Because a lot of the times people bring, bring me computers, they say they're slow, and uh, what's happened is they've dropped the actual computer and the hard drive is fucking up. Messing up, I should say. Get those extended warranties, folks. If you get a warranty, it's like 20 bucks more and you can get like a year or two more on top of that when you buy a laptop. Just do that, it's worth it. You might even end up getting like a better laptop. So let's uh, dive into here and make sure that uh, SpyBot is uh, up to date. Come on, clicky clicky. Yeah, it is pretty slow. Oh no, this might be a hard drive problem. Okay, check in in a bit, guys. So what is this thing? It's an Aspire V3 by Acer. It's got a 17 inch screen, four gigs DDR3, 500 gig hard drive, six L with the Anion drive battery and uh, yeah super multi drive so nothing special but you know it's intel b960 2.2 megahertz so nothing special but it does have a wicked screen it's uh, 17 inches and he picked this thing up pretty cheap too like last year apologize for the light uh you know we're having like some storms here so i'm i'm kind of scared like 80 kilometer hour winds i don't want to turn a bunch of shit on and you know blow the breaker or something Oh, I would say, suffice to say, we got some results here. A lot of uh, registry entries that uh, shouldn't be there, and it took like fucking five minutes to install just a mouse. So hopefully the drive is okay. Cross your fingies, and uh, let's clean this up. So fix selected problems. Yes, we want to do that. And, oh, no, I'm not an administrator. You son of a bitch, I am though. So I gotta do this all over again. So this might be a virus, yes. It might just be a virus. Oh, this is looking very virus-like. I don't like the looks of this. Oh, crap. Okay, give me a bit. I'll, I'll get on this. Oh, this helps too. Just make sure it's all updated and, you know, up to Windows specs. All right, so reboot it and redid the scan. And uh, this should remove some stuff. So I have to run this pretty much in safe mode. Yeah it's got some problems so this is doing like a full deep scan basically in safe mode from you know restart so it's taken a while probably like an hour long to do this and uh it's it's worth it because like this computer had a freaking vpn running on it and uh i think it was like a virus vpn if you know what a vpn is that's not good that's not good at all missing a string okay so the scan has finished it did take roughly an hour and uh, we are still in safe mode here so let's see if we can't do some immunization it says that everything's protected but uh, we'll find out we'll find out oh it looks good okay now I'm gonna go and defrag the hard drive actually because he was saying this thing was slow and uh, we've also got this pop-up bullshit like why is Tom Tom popping up on a laptop every time it boots so we'll have to go into the uh, MS config change that we've removed quite a few uh, spyware bots and viruses and things you just don't want okay so we're getting rid of things I'll just notice that the uh, the VPN is gone so that was definitely not a uh, one of his VPNs that was spyware. So someone who's actually logging into his computer and uh, making this a VPN. If you know what a VPN is, uh, 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 you don't want that. You don't want those kinds. Not on your computer. So we'll see the hard drive is zero percent fragmented. Last check today. So uh, that's that's good. It's good. Okay, so I'm gonna run mem test just to make sure the memory's all good and everything's fine. So we're gonna move this thing up and uh, in this case, it's just F5 and F6 to uh, move things around. So just move the uh, CD-ROM to the boot menu and then uh, we'll exit and save those changes. 
Okay, so mem test coming along. I'm going to add all the links uh, down below in the, uh, the YouTube stuff uh, for all the programs I'm using here. And mem test is showing no errors thus far, but we're only at, you know, 15%. Usually, if you do have memory errors, they're going to show up in like the first minute. So I'm going to say that, yeah, safely this thing is uh, memory. Memory is good. And of course, you know, I'm always uh, keeping around lots of spare stuff, you know, spare hard drives. Uh, this is great for backup and just like every cable you can imagine. I have like tool kits and just uh, like every CD for like mem testing and hard drive testing and benchmarks and notepads and cables and yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's, that's what you need is that and a good tool kit. And this, I think I'm going to just gonna let it go because uh oh yeah okay i'm gonna let this go because it passed so we'll see what happens uh in windows five to go down so i five down that brings it back to the cd rom there and then save changes and kaboom one more thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna download hard drive sentinel which is uh hdsentinel.com and I'm going to run this and make sure that all the uh, the drives are good and uh, this does run through smart so if you know what smart is it's pretty cool so I'll show you in a sec okay so back to uh, HD Sentinel and you can see right here that uh, everything is fine like we have no alerts um, the overview says you know power on time has been 70 days so that's how long the hard drive has been active is 70 days one hour uh, estimated time of lifetime is more than 1,000 days, so I'd say this drive is doing pretty good. Let's see, temperature is 38C, so the maximum temp ever was 53, but still not really into the, the bad zone, so everything looks good there, and smart is like everything's passed. No alerts, and there you go. That's... Uh, basically sentinel for you it's a good uh, a good program check it out that's the last thing i'm going to do on this drive or on this computer for now i think so that's this probably going to be the end i might tweak it out a bit and other than that uh, it's it's goodbye goodbye bye bye